An increasing number of South Koreans are boycotting Japanese goods over the souring trade and diplomatic tussle between the two countries. But some experts are urging the public to think rationally to minimize the negative impact on companies and consumers in both countries. Our Yoon Jung Min explains. Japanese products are on the boycott list of many South Koreans following Tokyo's new export restrictions on high-tech materials to Seoul. The items include small products such as pens and clothing to more expensive goods like Japanese cars and electronics. A Japanese tobacco company in South Korea even canceled press conference in which it planned to launch a new product to avoid the possible fallout. Some local merchants have also joined the boycott despite concerns it could hurt their bottom line. Our customers are generally regular people, including some victims of Japan's past atrocities, like forced labor or sexual slavery. The Japanese government hasn't reacted properly, so we wanted to make our voice heard. But I hope things improve and this doesn't happen again. Of course, it's going to impact our sales, but hopefully it gets resolved quickly. The political and diplomatic conflicts are expected to harm both countries' economies, and some are worried the situation could become a dangerous game of who blinks first. An expert says the two countries should settle their dispute responsibly. South Korea and Japan are tied together through history and geography. I don't think it's proper to close the door in a situation like this. We should consider our economy and future and make sure emotion doesn't cloud reason. The government should also take this into account. Many say they expect South Korea and Japan to resume dialogue to resolve the problem for companies and consumers in both countries. Yoon Jung-min, Arirang News.